Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are presenting the maths problem of the week and this will be the final video in my sequence of strategies to help make mathematical facts easier to digest. This week we will be using the grid swatter method. Now this is a method I like to use to help make big multiplication sums easier to do in my head. How does the grid swatter work? Well, kind of like partitioning, we're splitting our sum up into more manageable bits and then putting it all back together to get our final answer. Let's take a look at our example sum. I have the sum 3 times 17. Now we don't normally do our 17 times table, but we could split that number up into the number 10 and the number 7 because we do go over our 10 times table and we do go over our 7 times table. So what is 3 times 10? 30. And what is 3 times 7? 21. What is 30 plus 21? 51, which is the answer to 3 times 17. Now, this is how I would set it out and this is what's going on in my head. I have the number 3 at this side because that is one of the multiples. And then along the top, I have my other multiple, 17, but split up into my 10 and my 7. Now where the numbers meet is where I put the answer to that part of the question. So here I have the number 30 because 3 and 10 meet there. And here I have the number 21 because 3 and 7 meet there. I then again add those numbers and get my final answer of 51. Remember, once you have done the parts of the multiplication, you need to add your answers all together, otherwise you won't get to the correct final answer. Now, using this strategy, I want you to do the following. In our mild problem, I want you to tackle 4 times 16. In our medium problem, I want you to tackle 7 times 47. And in our hot problem, I want you to tackle 18 times 53. Now, before you start shouting at me that you don't know your 18 times table, I want you to think, what could you do to make that sum more manageable? Now, I will leave a close-up version of the problem so you can pause, take your time and complete the level or levels of challenge you want to, but I will be back in a moment with the solutions. So, you have paused, you have taken your time and completed the level or levels of challenge you wanted to. Now, let's go over our solutions. Let's start with our mild problem. So we have the sum 4 times 16, and I wanted you to employ the grid swatter method to break that up and answer the question, either on paper or, more ideally, in your head. How, firstly, do we split up that sum? I've got my example grid right here. So I put the 4 here, and I split the number 16 into the number 10 and the number 6. We then do the parts of the four times table. So what is four times 10? That is the answer of 40. And what is four times six? That is 24. What is 40 plus 24? That is 64, which is the answer to our mild problem. So how did you do? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll be back in a moment with our medium solution. Thank you very much, my old solution grant. Here is your medium solution. So we are tackling the problem seven times 47. With our grid swatter, how would we split that sum up in our heads? Well, I would do seven times 40 and seven times seven. Then add those parts together to get our final answer. With 7 times 40, you could do 7 times 4, then times 10, but I know that 7 times 40 is 280. But again, you could do 7 times 4 to get 28, and multiply that by 10 to get 280. Now, 7 times 7. Again, more manageable than doing 7 times all of 47. 7 times 7 is 49. Now, we need to add those parts together to get to our final answer. So what is 280 plus 49? I got to the answer of 329, which is the final answer 
to our medium solution. How did you get on with that one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be back in a moment with our hot solution. Thank you very much Medium Solution Grant, here is your hot solution. Now, as I said before we paused and you took your time to complete the level or levels of challenge, I was making the assumption that you may not know your 18 times table, but we could use our grid swatter and we could split all the parts of our sum. So how could we split the number 18? We could split it into 10 and 8. And how could we split the number 53? We could split that into the number 50 and the number 3. So our grid is going to look a little bigger and we will have to add up more parts of our sum. But let's see what happens when we do these multiplications and then add it all together. So what is 50 times 10? That's 500. What is 3 times 10? 30. What is 8 times 50? That's 400. And what is 8 times 3? That's 24. Now remember, we need to add all four of those parts together now to get to our final answer. So 500 plus 400 is 900. 30 plus 24 is 54. 900 plus 54 is 900. And 54. And that is the answer to our hot solution. So how did you get on? Let me know in the comments below and can you let me know how you find all our strategies for making mathematical facts easier to digest. But until next time, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!